Football Unites Racing Divides, or FERD, is an anti-racist youth and community organisation that has been in existence for about 16 years. Originally it was started by a group of football fans, stroke youth and community workers that were concerned over racist incidents that took place during match days, either at the stadium or, or around the stadium, and the impact that match days had on the local community, which in Sharrow is, is very sort of multi-ethnic and a lot of a lot of the locals didn't feel comfortable. It's grown considerably in the programmes that we deliver at the moment. Uh, we've worked with over a thousand young people since its inception. We run a number of different programmes, to name a few, the Alpha Water Project, the V2424 programme, which is about working with young people who are not in education, employment or training. I've been a volunteer at FIRST for the last two and a half years and in that time I've gained my qualification in football and in uh, youth work but not also, I've, I've also been to the, the Euros on that for the street kick so that was a great experience for me but also further that given me much more than that it's like made me become the person I am today and it's like made me more confident in myself. It looked at um, trying to encourage more fans to go along to, to matches so concessionary tickets. It started football coaching sessions which, which enabled young people um, to engage in football and, and, and led to them being involved in, in grassroots football and tournaments and organised football activity. The project has worked with thousands of young people across all communities and with a particular focus in Sharrow. 40% of our client group are young women in particular from BME communities. It works closely with Let's Keep Racism Out of Football and the football games for racism in Europe to, to address issues of, of racism in football in, in a wider context. Football Unites run a number of um, community cohesion type events. The two most prominent ones are the Community Day. This is an annual event held in partnership with Sheffield United Football Club. The aim of the event is for the local communities, especially the BME communities, to feel more welcome and included within the football club, which is more or less on their doorstep. Street Kick is a mobile inflatable football pitch that we use to put on football activities in local communities. It represents an excellent tool for bringing people from different communities together and spreading FIRS message. So much so that we have now been commissioned by UEFA through our links with Football Against Racism in Europe to deliver street kick events during major football tournaments. Our other high profile event is the Vibes and Unity event. Again, it's an annual event, it's held at Devonshire Green in Sheffield City Centre. The idea for a Vibes and Unity event came from young people that were volunteering with FIRD at the time. They felt that something needed to be done to ensure that people knew how important it was to use their votes in the European elections. The event itself consists of um, an outdoor event, it's high profiled, we have music, entertainment, information stores and lots of strong messages about making sure people use their votes. It's about kind of pulling together all the kids from around the, the different communities in a safe space, but also to show about some of, the, some of the, the, the talent that the kids got, like whether it be dancing, music, um, you know, rapping, DJing, whatever, everything that was music centric. What we're doing at the moment is raising awareness about Arthur Wharton, who was the first black professional footballer way back in the 1800s. Uh, it's all his achievements and the fact that he played in South Yorkshire and he was very good at what he did. He wasn't just a professional footballer, but he was also a minor, an athlete, he was a rugby player. What we're doing is we're working on a big project uh, that has quite a few strands. One is around working schools. So what we're trying to do is raise awareness about his life using art, drama and poetry. And we're also trying to create a teacher's toolkit that um, teachers or any educationalist can use alongside their curriculum areas in raising awareness about Arthur Wharton. Football coaching sessions and the setting up and support of local teams is a very important part of the organisation's work. At present we run a number of coaching sessions, the majority of which take place at Sheffield United's Academy. We work with young people as young as six years old and up to their early twenties. The sessions have led to the setting up of a number of boys teams from under 16 to under 21s and a girls team under 12s. 
Coupled with this, we've also supported and helped to set up a number of adult teams that currently play in local leagues. And I come here every Sunday because I can meet my friends and I can enjoy myself. And, and Sunday is kind of boring for me, so I like coming to this place and play football. Sound Kickers is a music project that's been running for two years. It works with young people aged 10 to 19 and aims to develop opportunities for them to be involved in music. I went to Red Tape Studios as I'm very interested in singing and asked if they had anything for under 16s but they didn't. Luckily for me a man called Chris came out and that said um, there's a place called Star Studios you can go it's for kids your age and I've been hooked ever since. I have learnt here how to play the drums a bit, a bit about guitar, voice training, not my voice but singing um, exercises and Oh, how to do scales on the keyboard. And as a result, their interest in music has uh, brought them closer to be involved in a project like Sound Kickers. So Sound Kickers volunteers have been to football games and handed out anti-racism literature. So has the football coaching teams that have been up and running. So have the youth work groups. So any young person that's been here have not just been involved in their own little projects within the organisation, but have been involved in quite bigger programmes that we've had. So what does the future hold for food? One of the major things we'll be doing is developing this brand new state-of-the-art centre for young people in Sheffield. There's a wide range of opportunities for young people to get involved in, including sport, arts, education, etc. And we will be continuing with our anti-racist campaign and hopefully expanding work with young people in Sheffield. 